Good morning, angels, and welcome to the first official holiday vlog du, du, du. of the year. Welcome. You guys have seen the airport vlog. You all know we are in Ibiza. Today is our first full day. Super excited. We've got um, nice and early to get to the breakfast bar. Nice and early to get the buffet. Well, we haven't really woken up that early. Well, it's like we? early for Ibiza though. Yeah. I was walking around our top deck here and no one else is at. But guys. then the hotel is very empty. We spoke about this a little bit in the last vlog. Of course, nowhere is really busy or full or anything at the moment. I look super puffy this morning. Um, but that's okay, we're going to sort that out. I thought I could run through my skincare routine this morning with you guys before we head down to breakfast because I've got some new bits and bobs that I really want to show you all. But yeah, happy Ibiza time, right boo? Happy Ibiza time. We're having a great time. Okay, where can I put you? So, the other day when I went to Superdrug to do my pre-holiday shop, you know, get my tanning lotion, deodorants, toothpaste, etc. I also went into Waterstones because you guys know me. I need like literally five new books for the holiday. I think I've brought three books with me for a total of five days and so far I've read a chapter of one so that's quite positive of me. But I also picked up this book called Skincare by a woman called Caroline Hirons or Hirons and I've just seen it raved about so much on social media so I really wanted to pick it up and basically I read the whole thing in one night I think I have already told you guys about this story but the two main things I've taken away from it is about how to have a proper morning skincare routine and evening skincare routine I really don't think it matters about the products you use you just kind of have to know what to do every morning and every night and i've been doing this for maybe like four full days now so not even long but i can really see a difference in my skin just the way it feels and how hydrated it is and stuff like it's just it's really really nice every morning i use this cleanser this is the double cleanser by pixie and the same woman that wrote the book yes i'm now a mega fan this is called a double cleanser but in the morning i only do one cleanse Basically, this is made up of two sections, a gel and a and a, ba a balm, as you can see there. But in the mornings, I only use the, like, gel cream. And then you need to take a flannel and then just wipe the cleanser off. Yeah, see, I literally did this last night and I'm still getting orange bits off. From my face makeup last night before this i was just using like micellar water to take my makeup off and then that was it and look at that and then this is in the morning and i did this full routine last night i just think that's crazy wash that makeup off of the flannel and move you over a little bit you're a bit and then the next step is that you're going to need a toner and this is one she recommended but like i said i don't really think it's about the products like you don't need to buy this specific toner or whatever as long as it has a bit of glycolic acid in it then apparently that's what you need i mean for the full you know in-depthness get the book because it's it is truly fab and then you just do a quick was around on that again look at that isn't that honestly i just can't believe that i'm gonna spray our face this is a brand that she really highly recommends I love that. I was using that by the um, pool loads yesterday. It's really, really nice. I made our eye cream. So this is just my eye cream that I use. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one. Magic Eye Rescue. Then you need to go in with a serum. So I actually have two serums. I have this one for the daytime, which is by Tan Lux. This one was kind of gifted to me. I bought their tanning water the other day in Space NK and they saw. And they sent me out a big thing of products for me to try. And this was one of them. This is, the, I think this is a new product. Suppose. This is the Super Glow Hyaluronic self tan serum so this basically has self tanning in it it has spf 30 which is really good and also it has hyaluronic acid which is what caroline recommends to have in your serum so i use that for the daytime because it's nice because it gives you a tan it protects your face and then for the nighttime i use this one by la roche pose which is just a hyaluronic acid serum it got really hot here yesterday when we were sunbathing yesterday we arrived at like 10am because I remember because I was annoyed because the breakfast buffet had just stopped. 
stopped. I was a bit gutted about that. As soon as we've been up since 3 a.m., I was literally starving. So we just went straight out to sunbathe and it was literally boiling hot. And I wasn't topping up SPF on my face, stupidly. Um, and I can kind of feel it a bit today. Like, I'm not burnt. But you know when it's just a bit like your skin's like, yeah, honey, you better look after me today. Because I can tell you didn't yesterday, do you know what I mean? It like just stings a little bit around here. Then after that, we're going to finish off with our moisturiser. So obviously I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And then um, after I've done that, probably a bit more when I'm in the sun. It's like kind of raining this morning, so I'm not going to bother putting this on now. But I'm going to take it in my beach bag with me. And when we're out sunbathing, I'm going to put my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream on. This is a really lovely cream. It's so thick and hydrating. So yeah, that is my skin routine. Let's go and show you how we're looking. The lighting's not very good, but um, yeah, very hydrated. My skin feels really nice. But then this is the weather this morning, annoyingly. So this is the hotel. I don't feel like we really showed you guys much yesterday. We're gonna show you around now. But um, on the upper level, which means that we have access to this really cool extra area there's a little pool over there we've got our own sun loungers right there table and chairs so this hotel has a few different restaurants these is this is everywhere by the way of course okay okay thank you just had our temperatures checked before we came into the buffet. Do you know what, Angels? There is nothing I love more than a good hotel buffet breakfast. Round number one. It's just my favourite look, Angel. Frankfurter sausages. Only the yummiest sausages. They're like hot dogs. They're probably so bad for you, but I bloody love them. And pineapple juice. Because you know what's my favourite on holiday angels? Pineapple juice in the con. I get it everywhere I go. Oh, good. la la. That's so yummy. We just love a good buffet, don't we? Can't tell you how much happiness a good buffet breakfast brings me, seriously. With this stunning view. Bit of a rainy view bit of a rainy view but that's okay it's gonna pick up okay ibiza day one is in full swing everybody we've made it to a beach club that we didn't think we were gonna make it to um so we've come to beach house ibiza i keep wanting to call this ocean beach club i don't know who Definitely i think i am so this morning unfortunately it's been quite rainy um it's not been very nice weather at all so we were a bit worried but we took the plunge and decided to just get a taxi to a beach club and just see what happens. And actually, the weather has lightened up a lot. We are actually having sunny intervals now, which is lovely. But then other times it's just like this. It's a bit cloudy, but that's okay. It's still hot. Hello. Still warm, Have we seen your beach club outfit today? I'm not sure I do. Very nice. Beach club boy. And I am wearing Angel Collection coming very soon with matching top shirt. Do you know what? When we designed this outfit, I didn't really think about the prospect of it being like a throwover beach outfit, but it actually is. And I'm not just saying this, I'm not just tooting my own horn the perfect beach outfit seriously like throw on over a swimming costume outfit i'm wearing my bikini and then this and it's great and it's a gorgeous outfit and i'm so obsessed with it and i literally cannot wait to see all of you beautiful lot in it it's coming so soon so so soon so keep your eyes peeled ellie's on to her 10th smoothie of the day a pink passion it is beautiful is what you should be asking for strawberry watermelon and pineapple and look, so all of the menus, like you have to scan the QR code like this and it comes up. It's pretty uh, futuristic, isn't it? Yes, it is very futuristic. I know what I'm wanting, so um, again, I'm sat here waiting for Eddie. What do you want? Roast chicken salad, I'm going for. Oh, nice. With a big old cocktail. It might be a big old hog and all the pasta. What do we think about that? That's what you want to do. I'm starving, angels. Do you know what I mean? I'm on holiday. I'm just really hungry. <laughs> Food's arrived. Mmm. 
I went I for. Oh my god, I just felt a drop of rain as well yeah, on my finger. I went for penne pesto with like mozzarella on top. We've got some bread. Connor's gone for a salad. Do you want to try this three, What drink is it? Wow. What's it got in it? Tequila down pole. Uh, no thank but you. you can't taste it, it tastes real, real good. No, I don't really want to. Do it for long? No, I really don't, I don't really want to. I just want to eat my pasta. It's absolutely tip it down. Okay, just we are back at our hotel. The sun has come out finally. Connor is chilling there on the iPad. Catching some rain. I am about to start getting ready for dinner. The time is about 20 to 5. We have a dinner reservation at 6 o'clock tonight. A bit early, but um, it was all they had until 11. And you guys know me. Honey, I'm in dreamland at 11. Um, so yeah, we're going to Amante tonight, which I'm excited about because a lot of you guys have recommended it and it looks very pretty. Yeah, it looks a bit posh. So um, I'm gonna dress up nice tonight. I think I'm gonna wear my nicest outfit. As I have said to you guys earlier, I have just recently revamped my makeup bag a little bit. Um, I've got loads of really nice new bits and I'm really, really excited to show you. We could do a little bit of a get ready with me in this vlog. Sorry, boyfriends friends in the back if this is gonna be a bit boring, but I need to give you honey the top tips, do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna start off, oh well, I've done my moisturizer, Charlotte Tilbury of. Um, and now I'm gonna do the By Terry T to Tan Face and Body Spray. So this is just like, I can't really explain it. This is like a no makeup product and a night out makeup product, if you know what I mean. It just gives your face a little bit of color to start off with. And, um, it's water-based, so you don't have to worry about getting it on your robe or anything like that. Okay, are you literally kidding me? That is so expensive. And the spray has just broke on me. What? Okay, plan B, we're gonna put it on a little brush. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed about that. Okay, to be fair, that's not turned out too badly. Um, I don't know if you guys can see what I mean, but it just gives you a bit more of a sun-kissed look. Do you know? It's just quite a nice primer, almost. I'm so annoyed about that, I actually can't even it. But... Ah, oh, are you serious? Are you serious? There we go. Love it, see? Love it. And then, okay, so recently I haven't actually been wearing foundation and I didn't wear foundation last night either. Did I? No, I don't think I did. And um, I just read it the way my skin looks without foundation. You guys know me, I love a glowy look. So instead of foundation recently, I've been using the By Terry CC Serum. This is in shade Sunny Flash. And I literally just do like two pumps and pop it on with my hands. And that, obviously paired with concealer under my eyes is kind of as much of coverage i really like to have especially on holiday because i feel like now is the time we all want light layers do you know what i mean in the heat you don't really want like foundation melting off your face so then next i'm going to take my banana low lighter from rodeal this is a product i literally wish i had known about for years the best under eye concealer oh and you know what? I've literally just said that as I completely forgot one of my other new products. Oh, for God's sake. But you know what? It's not the end of the world because you can put the next product on after. It's just better if you do it before. But we move. I will link as much as I possibly can um, in the description box below for you guys of anything I mention. And I usually do always do that with all of my videos anyway. So if you're ever looking for something that you've seen me on here, just go to the description box, babes. It's okay, so the product I was talking about, although I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna need it tonight, but it's the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Let's put a little bit on it and you guys can see. This is a dreamy product, genuinely. It's just so nice. I mean, this isn't really the best lighting in this bathroom, so I'm not sure how well you guys 
seeing how I look. But oh my god, does anybody else get a bit like claustrophobic when there's too much on the bathroom counter when you're trying to get ready? I just I kind of freeze up a bit. I don't really know where to go, what to do. Then for my powder, I know I'm crazy, but I don't actually really like using powder that much at all, not even on holiday. Um I just literally get a little bit. This is the Charlotte Tilbury magic powder which is great for under eyes and an eyeshadow brush and i literally just put it in the areas where i tend to get a bit of creasing a bit later in the night um and it works a tree i mean bronzer as usual i'm going to take my chanel bronze universal which is like a really nice creamy bronzer it's not a powder it's like a cream but it's weird when it goes on it's like powder a little bit you know give myself the time that i'm not gonna get does anybody else not tan yeah uh i know i'm gutted about it i remember when i was about four years old i always used to love lucy doing my makeup when i was like really young because she was like older and a bit cooler and she was like oh you're such an english rose and you know what i've grown up staying true to those words because i just cannot for the life of me really catch tan i mean We've been here for like 24 hours and Connor is just so tanned already. I'm so jealous. I hope our children get as beautiful tanned genetics and not the poor old mum's English rose complexion. Okay, blusher. I love blusher recently. I feel like everyone's saying that, but really I just feel like it brings the whole look together. Do you know what I mean? I do it everywhere, babes. I'm like, blush me up. This is the Milani in shade Lift Suleva. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I think that was an instruction. Shade number five, Luminoso Baked Powder Blush. Okay, highlight. Do you know what? I think I'm going to go in with an OG today. So this is the Ofra highlighter in shade All of the Lights. I've got a few highlighters that I like to use, but this is the one I go for when I want to look super glowy. And then, oh my God, you know what? Because I want to look literally like ridiculously glowy tonight. I think I might even go on top of that with um, my new Gucci gel. Yes, I know I feel very bougie saying that, but fun fact, if anybody wants to feel super bougie and have something from Gucci, you should buy this because it's 18 pounds and it is hands down one of the best makeup products I have in my bag, I think. It's literally just a clear see-through gel like that. You need the tiniest bit and it's like a highlighter and it just makes your face look wet. It's so nice. It doesn't take any of your makeup off it just is stunning especially on holiday in the sun put a little bit on the end of my nose in between my eyes and on top of my lip as well really, really like that and you can use it anywhere on your body as well but um i really like using it as a highlighter look at these brows they're atrocious i'm so embarrassed by the set of my brows at the moment i really am i need boris to let my gal Emily open up gloss bar again. I'm missing my laminated brows. Don't know about you guys. Right, brows are on. They're all carved out. Oh, I'm looking a bit more human, aren't I? Now, you guys know me. I'm not much of an eyeshadow person. So when I saw these by my favourite brand in one of my new favourite shops, Space NK, I just thought I have to buy these. These are the Eyes to Mesmerise Pop by charlotte tilbury i bought two colors these ones oh my god they are literally so nice this one's like a baby pink and this one is a brown so i won't bother saying what names i have because they've actually changed their names around you guys told me uh because i panicked and i tried to find links for you when i put them on my stories you guys told me that they've actually just changed the names but they're the same product so um if i just show you like that i'll try and find them and link them below in the new names but yeah, this one's like a champagne-y. Look at that. I mean, you just can't go wrong. It's literally foolproof. How to do eyeshadow for dummies. With this brown one, put it on with a brush because this one needs to blend. So I just do it with this big one here. Get 
a little bit on there. Buy all of them. I think there are six colours in total and they are just stunning. I had such a hard time picking out which ones I wanted. And then, this is a new fave for me while I'm doing this kind of look. I'm going to take this Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in colour 3, which is brown. And I'm going to put some in my waterline. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. Um, just a bit. I mean... That's the baddie in me coming out. You know what I mean? Just a bit. And I'm gonna put some lashes on and I'm gonna do my red lip and we're gonna go crazy and have fun. Okay. Oh, do you know what? I just feel like this makeup look is just so much for me. Do you know what I mean, Con? It was a bit glam. It's like, it's just so much. Like the eyeliner and the red lip and the lashes. It's just a lot. Hopefully the outfit and the hair will bring it all together. Okay, so for hair... You're going crinkly. Thinking. I'm going crinkly tonight. We're going for the mermaid vibe. And when I did this in my video the other day, I had so many questions about how I did it. So I thought I could run through it in the holiday vlog. So I'm using the Beauty Works. By the way, look at my stunning, handsome boyfriend's outfit tonight. You look so nice. Thank you. Are you going to be ready to leave in 12 minutes? Yes. If you stop asking 12. me if I'm going to be ready to there leave. There we are. Yours, we heard it. 12 minutes. Get the... Clap the countdown clock on the video! So this is the Beauty Works, I think it's called the Waving Kit, or the Waver, or something like that, but um, you literally just put your hair on it, like that. And then after a few minutes, well no, definitely not a few minutes because I've burned your hair, after a few seconds, you just move, I'm using the camera viewfinder as my mirror here, so sorry if you just see me looking at a dodgy angle, it's not my lazy eye coming out, although... My nose eye has been making an appearance recently, I've noticed, actually. No, Bobby. No, it has. Like that. I've not noticed it. Connor always says that, though. Even before I had the lazy eye surgery, he was like, yeah, I've got one, it's fine. I'm like, babe, I'm cool with it. Do you know what I mean? You've just got to accept yourself today. There are going to be so many people in this world that already make you want to feel bad about the way you look. So why be another one to add to that? when you're the only person you're gonna have forever. You've gotta love yourself, babe. That's what I think, lazy eye and all. And yeah, I'm just gonna go around the rest of my hair and do that same thing. Guys, I've just realized we haven't vlogged at all tonight since we arrived at Mante. <laughs> I've just been having fun living in the moment, everybody. Do you know what I mean? I've just been loving my life. Yeah, can't blame us. Can't blame us. Look at this view. It is just gorgeous here, it really is. So this place is called Amante and it's situated on like four levels. And we're on the bottom level. We've got our risotto and Connor's got chicken and sweet potato. I've got a rose. I know, pretty crazy for me. Um, haven't drunk it. I asked mm. for lemonade and they didn't put it in, did they? More of a proper photo, so how do they expect Ali Darby to drink wine without lemonade? Bubby, I dare you to eat my own peppers. No way. Who do you think I am? No. Oh yeah, go on then. Con, watch it, mate. Oh. 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 Are you being dramatic? Oh, he is being dramatic. Thanks for checking in. Love you all loads. Good morning, everybody. It's just me right now. Um, it is, wow, nearly one o'clock in the afternoon at the moment. Um, Connor has gone to the gym because Connor's made some friends here at the hotel. Literally, Con adores making friends at hotels that we go to. He just thinks it's the best thing ever. And so do I, obviously, but there actually, unfortunately, aren't any gals here, really. Um, what's the vibe for this hotel? I would say this hotel is a lovely, lovely hotel, but the only other people here, there are like four boys that are just here for like a lad's holiday. And then the others are just like older couples. Um, yeah, there's no gals for me to make friends with here, but Con is a social butterfly um, and he literally adores making new friends on holiday. So he's made friends with these boys that we keep seeing at like the nighttime entertainment and stuff and like when we have drinks at the bar and stuff. And this morning he was speaking to his friends because I've been in the hotel room all morning editing the first Ibiza vlog and 
trying to get it up which i think fingers crossed you guys should have seen by now it should be all fine uploaded it's taking about three hours but hopefully we'll get there in the end so i've been inside all morning doing that and um he went down to the pool just for a little splash about and he bumped into his mates and they told him that there's a gym about one minute walk away so um he's gone there because as you guys know obviously gyms have been shut in the uk for the longest time connor has missed working out i have felt so bad for him like genuinely fitness is like connor's escape from everything it makes him so happy it chills him out he feels good about himself obviously when he's had a really nice gym session and he hasn't had that in ages so he was like oh do you mind and i was like oh my god go for it i'm um, to be honest i don't really mind like having some time on my own because now i'm done had seen the video and it's all going up all right i'm gonna literally lay by the pool and read my book and nobody's gonna be around me saying oh can you sun cream this oh can you go and get a drink oh, no, 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 no. i'm sure he'll probably join me and then this evening we're going for dinner up at wiki woo hotel which i'm really excited about so let's chat about amante last night okay because i don't know how much i vlogged amante was a beautiful beautiful setting like people legit get married there it is beautiful it was stunning then you was not bad like i think i showed you guys the starters were nice but it was very expensive and the main there was there wasn't really much that i actually liked the look of for the main so i ended up getting this like vegetarian risotto um and it just i don't know like for the price of it i think to be honest you're paying for the view and the beautiful setting so as stunning as it was i would probably say to anybody who is thinking about going there go for like the day and get a bed there because there are some it's like a really chill place like you can go there and have a nice day bed and lay by the pool and by the sea and stuff or you can go for dinner like we did i'd probably say to go for the day and chill out rather than dress up for a nice dinner because as much as it was lovely and i'm so pleased we went it was expensive and not the best place for dinner i don't personally think i am just never gonna be that gal that loves like posh expensive food that's just not gonna be me honey i love a burger i love garlic bread and cheese i love brownies so yeah that's the vibe this morning hope everybody is well um hope you guys are enjoying the holiday vlogs i literally cannot explain how nice it is just to be on holiday and to be away <sighs> i really feel like i've chilled out especially now i've got this one video up like i it stresses me out you know whenever i'm like away from the study and just like normal work mode i do get a bit stressed out so now that that first vlog is like all on its way up to you guys corner's having fun at the gym i'm gonna chill out <laughs> i'm really excited about it I'm gonna get my beach bag together for a nice afternoon of sunbathing i'm so excited about sunbathing today i just i really am because it was raining all yesterday morning and then for the afternoon it was kind of like cloudy so you never felt like oh wow i'm scorching hot in the sun do you know what i mean so beach bag okay i've been having loads of questions on this beach bag on instagram this is from top shops last summer do you know what i am gutted because i haven't seen any bags like this at all on the shops this summer i'm hoping to um pop into old town again because they had some absolutely beautiful like straw summer bags in old town when we went the other night for dinner um which was in the other vlog not this one okay number one we need our sunnies they go in there i've got hair clips my elizabeth arden facial spf my by terry lip balm scrunchie that is so important my book do you know what i'm so embarrassed before i came on this holiday i was like i'm gonna read three books and i'm not gonna let anybody come between me and my books i've literally read three chapters i think of this one book and we've got one full day left which is tomorrow so that's great i'm just a busy bee angels what can i say oh right my spf um, oh do you know what i'm gonna spray my face with some tanning water because i don't tan as i think i've told you guys in this vlog already and i want to look nice for dinner and this takes about five or six hours to set in so that can soak into my face this morning mask need that 
Um, so this hotel, obviously are being very strict with masks. You have to wear them basically anywhere you are, unless you're sunbathing by the pool or you're eating food or in your room, obviously. Um, but yeah, they are being very careful as I'm sure everywhere is at the moment. Oh, you know I think that's me. Phone, obviously, hairbrush. Hairbrush is quite important. Oh, and I'm gonna take a hat. Literally a couple of meters to one of the best sunbeds. With a gorgeous view. Hey everybody, look who's back. You vlogged away today then? Yeah, oh, when you were out. How was your gym session? Down a great session. We're just having some lunch. We've got carbonara, Con's got chicken. We've got pizza to share. So that's the update right now. It's chilling, aren't we? Mm, those chips are really yummy. Hello, everybody. Welcome to dinner time. We fast forwarded. Do you know what? It was too hot for me this afternoon, so I led in the hotel room and read my book. I'm now halfway angels. through normal people and I'm loving it. I'm totally seeing the obsession and I can't wait to watch the series when I get home. I'm very hey, excited just about it. On. Okay. No, because then I need I want to finish the book before. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean everybody? Anyway, we're at WikiWoo for dinner and honestly this is possibly my new favourite spot in Ibiza. The film was just signed up as well. Is it really nice? I'm kind of mad we didn't choose to stay here. It's just so my vibe. I just love it. So we've got some starters. We've got satay chicken and some hummus. See Swifty is enjoying the view. It's just beautiful here, everybody. Look, I'll show you around. We've Pink. really become the people who are free starters, aren't we? Yeah, we have become those people. Share. I've always been that kind of person, boo, to get three starters. So yeah, this is the vibe. We've got palm tree. It's palm tree heaven, flower heaven, pink everywhere. It's just dreamy, honestly. Oosh, 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 oosh. Good morning. Wow. <laughs> see what I mean, glasses do not see what you do, though. <laughs> do you know who you remind me of a little bit in those glasses? Do you want to know? The mice in um, mice. Shrek. What, the blind and free blind mice? <laughs> Proud to remind you of those <laughs> little mice. So everybody, today is our last day. Aww. Can you believe that in Ibiza? Boom. It's our last full day. Um, we fly home tomorrow morning. What time is our flight? I think it's at like 10. So at least it's not super early. But yeah, today's our last day, so we thought we could go to a beach club today because as much as we love our beautiful hotel, we had the most amazing day. We Sunday, are in Beefa, we? aren't we? So we have to get out there yeah. and party. Today we're going to try out the new beach club, Bamboo Koo. Brand new. Which we're excited for. I think it's a bit of a family vibe. Um, it looks so cute. Like, oh my god, like Wiki Wee was just my vibe yesterday, wasn't it? It it's the same sort of colours as that, isn't it? Yeah, it's like pink and stuff, so I'm really, really excited to Pinky, go. Pinky, bluey. My goal today is to finish Normal People. I'm halfway through at the moment. Let me show you. Imagine all the people. Can you see that there? Halfway through. Wow, lovely hat. Where'd you get that from? Who bought you that? Your loving oh. boyfriend. Honestly, Colin, I don't... You're on one this morning. Go on, go and get your five cocktails of the day. Yeah! Colin is Gucci sliders. You're such a shower. What's that? Thomas Sabo. Oh! Bought myself a little treat. <laughs> We've made it to Bamboo Pool. Oh, wow. Oh my god, this looks so cool. So cool! Hi guys, we've arrived at Bamboo Koo and we're chilling out on our bed. Connor Swift is relaxing. I'm just catching the rays, but we're only here for one more day. Yeah. Can't, Can't believe how fast this holiday's gone, you know. So chilled out, but to be honest, I think where isn't chilled out in Ibiza right now? A lot of people that we've spoken to, like, 
just keep saying oh my god it's just so dead everywhere it's so dead everywhere but obviously we've never been to Ibiza before um so it's we don't really have anything to compare it to yeah. do we good thing about bambuku is when you buy you have to pay to hire them out but what you pay actually goes on your tab yeah so it's like free money but is that not the same for every beach club no it didn't it wasn't the same at beach house mm. I'm not sure if it's the yeah. same at Ocean Beach either, I don't think so. Yeah, so we paid, was it 100 euros for this bed? 100 euros. But then you get 100 euros on Any your tab. food tab. So, well, it doesn't have to be food. Well, for me, it's going to be food, honey. You think it's going to be. It's going to be cocktails. I'm going to be getting nachos, hot dogs. We have ordered nachos, haven't we? Yeah. They've got a caramel cookie that I saw on their dessert list. Oh my god. I think most people are after this sort of like chilled holiday but there's yeah. cocktails always floating about yeah that is the vibe if you're gonna come for a chill to a, you want to go to a chill place i definitely recommend although one of the waitresses at, um wiki woo last night was telling me that she arrived here for her season two weeks ago uh, yes and um she has not had a night in in those two weeks i just said yesterday morning she got in at eight o'clock in the morning i just that? think how how do you do that? How do you do that? I'm waking up at 8 a.m., babe. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We're waking up when they're going to bed, baby. Yeah. We're up to get our morning breakfast. breakfast. I'm there to that get getting my our fried breakfast. Yeah. That <laughs> chocolate croissant. Unless you're like in the gang of people that are like doing a season and you're all waitresses together. Yes. Then you've got mates, and she said that she's been going to like flat parties and stuff. So I reckon that's what they do. Yeah, because there's no actual clubs, and most of the yeah. beach houses shut at like 10, 11, and yeah. then they go to someone's flat for like eight hours, apparently. Yeah. Anyway, what else is new with us, boo? We're um, just loving it. It's a very cute vibe here. Let me show you around here. Here you go. Lovely pool. colours match my shorts perfectly. Yeah, yeah, they do. It's um, a bit cloudy again today, everybody. Not, I'm not it's highly not raining, impressed. Though. No, that's good. So I check the web. This will be cloudy until four. Okay, that's all right. Do you know what? We've not got any dinner plans tonight either, Angels. So Our last stay day here, yeah, out. we're just chilling out. We might, this place shuts at 10. We might be here until closing con. By oh, the way, we can do that, can we? how do you think I'm rocking my Chanel's? Connor? What? Your real Chanel's. They are real. Honestly, if you say it one more time, Connor, I'm from a vintage shop. <laughs> vintage oh, shop. Oh, music starting. Oh, here comes the party then. But do you think I'm rocking them? Yeah, I think they're gorgeous though, like always. Thanks. Gorgeous fun. Channeling my 90s J-Lo, do you know what I mean? Food's arrived. We've got some nachos to start, obviously. If Entree. you guys didn't know. Nachos is our nacho, favourite. Yeah. Big nacho fans, aren't we? Our favourite nachos have to be Universal Sports Bar, what yeah, do you think? Does. Very nice, very dramatic. No. Where then? The Mexican place in there. Universal. Oh, of course. Oh my God, silly me. Do you know why? So silly, Ellie. Because I everything else of our favourite is sports bar. Am I right? What's going on, Angel? You have uh, C59 here. Ellie's asleep next to me. And she's just ordered me this drink. It took a while to come. That's why she's asleep. But apparently, you have to eat the passion fruit on top and then drink. So why not bring you along on this fantastic experience? I think I had vodka in that. Look at that. And it's gross though. Quick. Oh, I'll drink my drink. Fast. Oh, strong. Ellie's open up now. She heard the word food. Eyes have lit up. Wanna try some? Sure. Angels must try some. Wow, strong, isn't it? I'm halfway through the wood box, and Eleanor Jane Darby is just arose from her slumber. And she's just found a cookie. Oh, wow. Go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yum. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, oh, have a bite. Let's see if she gives me her angels. No. I bet she doesn't. See? She's very protective of her cookie. Here you go. Oh. That means it's not a 10 out of 10. If it is 10 out of 10, she won't give it to me. You literally didn't give me any of the extras. <laughs> That's dry without any food cows at all. <laughs> what is that funny to you? <laughs> what is that funny for you? Okay, everybody. It is our final few hours in Ibiza 2020. And we are just chilling out on our little balcony before we go to bed for the evening. Lying on the sun lounger together. Yeah, listening to the jazz music. And looking at the stars. Not that you can see any. Or maybe you can. We're back in England. Hello, everybody. We're back in the Range Rover on the way to pick up our first son. Yeah, we've just landed. We had to fill out this. Oh huge my form. god, guys! If you're travelling, make sure that you fill out both forms when you are leaving the UK. Yeah. For when you land in your destination. Which of, was fine because I did that. We did that beforehand, before. but we didn't realise we needed to also do one on the way back. Complete a form for on the way back to say where you've been it's only, and where you're heading. It's only online, it's only on the Gov website, so it's really easy to fill out, it's just time consuming. It takes about ten minutes, but when you're in the rush, you're in the queue. When you need a wee, you want to go and get your baggage, you want to get in your car to go and pick up your son. Panic starts a second. You're just like, oh my god, fill out this form already. Oh my god, that is driving. Uh, little tip, make sure all forms are signed. We got, we got there right, in the end. Airplane was fine. Airplane, airplane was, was nice. Boring, I the airport was boring. Um, I was watching the football highlights. I was asleep. And it was asleep. I got a little snack and then the actual flight was pretty easy because yeah. because it's Ibiza a lot of people missed their flights so there was a lot of empty seats. I don't think it was people missing their flights but I think it was. That is, flights. yeah it's exactly that. People were getting too drunk last night and they missed the flights. So we'll check in when uh, we pick up the young gun and you know what he's like when he hasn't seen us for a couple of days else he starts moaning and crying and doing backflips and front flips us. i literally i honestly i feel like so pathetic whenever i talk about how much i miss her being i kind of don't want to bore people with like how pathetic i sound but i have missed herbie good one bub potentially the the most i've ever missed him no it's the first time i've been away from him in a really 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 long time i feel like i'm so emotionally dependent on Herbie, and i've missed him desperately and i cannot wait to see him and cuddle him for the next five years oh my god <gasps> weirdest thing After all this time don't get me wrong like i am so appreciative and so happy that we were able to go away and uh, it was an experience i genuinely feel like i needed but there's just nothing better than home and i can't believe i'm saying that after like three or four months of just not 
doing anything with me in my house but anyway yeah i'm so happy to be home so happy to be back with herbie and my new garden and um i'm sending all of you guys lots of love and light and happiness this morning really really hope you guys all enjoyed the ibiza vlogs i know there were only two but we were only there for five days and it was lovely to just relax and let go and spend some quality time with con and be in the sun it was just beautiful so thank you guys so so much for watching i really really hope you enjoyed it now that we're back home let me know what content you would like to see over the next few weeks and i'll make sure i do it for you sending loads of love to you guys as always and i will see you in the next one